This is Alex from AB Model. And I preview my Felisto 2. It's not quite finished yet. But it's a beauty. It's a beast. So if you want to see more about that plane, if you hit the like and subscribe button, that's what they say. If I can get up to 50 subscribers, I can start doing live streaming where I will do tutorials about some things that I do. But today, I'm going to unbox an order from Aircraft and Pixels. Um, I ordered some parts for the wing nut wing faults. I think that's how you say it. Um, the faults D3. I've also got the D12. So, in planning for these future build, I've got some parts coming. So, he's a new new producer. I'm going to unbox these things. So, I've got some parts coming for my. Fokker D7 that I'll build at some point. And uh, so first that I'm opening is his wills, will covers. It's on a tree with four. It's got some nice, nice detail. Now from what I understand, uh, the kits are not quite the right size and this part tree is stamped with or not stamped it's got the the 3d printed uh, name of the thing it's all very crisp details so well, I'm, I'm liking that okay. next up this is the radiators for the for the Fokker D7 and these are a see-through radiator you can kind of see the tree going through it and um, I've used these before he's printing these in-house uh, very fine detail and everything usual 3d tree work that has to get sculpted out so I got two of those Looks like this is um, this is the gimbal compass. There's my little piece of cardboard there. So this has it's a gamb a Bamberg compass. And the way Bo does these is pretty interesting. I haven't put one together yet. Bo Monroe is his name. This is a gimbal compass. So it's got a little um, printed in part for the swivel. And the different parts when you assemble it, if you have got the chops, it will actually rotate like a real compass gimbal. So that's enough detail part for all the German style airplanes. Looks like got, this is his new Albatross trussel. Printed up on 3D. So you can see different parts there and the rounded bottom for the airplane. So let's we'll see what that looks like after I get it put together. But, like his albatross style ladder it's got um, it's got pin marks I'm not sure what those are about but uh, I see the little pinholes there but I can see there's some nice detail in there. It's hard to see in the camera, but some. Sh I mean, I can see nail heads and rivets and stuff like that. 
And then this is lastly, I guess this is just a duplicate set of the uh, the wheels. So there's the product from Bowman Row, the new Albatross Truffle, and uh, that's going to be part of my giant project coming up the set of Wingnut Wings Albatrosses. Next up for me is going to be a Hanover. I believe that's what I'm, I want to build next. I'll be done with the Felis though in about another two weeks. And I appreciate you watching.